thought I'd take a few minutes to explain uh, the hierarchical template I've been working on, and this is a f this is a fairly fixed uh, diagram that you can quickly edit yourself, but it's got some some nice features that might save you some time. So let's just dig right into that. First of all, you've got four levels of a org chart or a hierarchical sort of system diagram to you, and you can see that these connections are glued to the boxes, so if I move the boxes around, the connectors follow them and whatnot. And it's just a matter of double-clicking on a shape and changing the text to whatever you want. So we can just say level to item. That. Just click away to, to, to save the change, and there you go. So you can just open this thing up and fill it out as fast as you want. One thing that's nice about it is that the shapes are actually built so that they're linked to their individual columns. So you can see here that if I move the level one box around, the level one item follows. Similarly, level three items go along with their column header like that. So that looks a little bit silly right now. Why would I want to do that? But it might be that you want to put some space between these and maybe emphasize level one. So let's see how we would do that. And I'm going to go over to the view um, tab and turn on the grid just because it helps me a little bit. And what I'm going to do is select all of these by holding down the shift key. And I'm just going to make everything a little bit thinner. Then I'm going to move this back to where it was. And then if you select all of the headers, you can right click and choose distribute shapes. Now these are some custom menu items I built into the shapes, but this is standard Visio functionality. It's just a lot harder to find in Visio 2010, so I just put it right into the shapes here. So we'll just click on that and we'll choose to do a horizontal distribution on the centers. And you can see now we've got a little bit of spacing between our columns. We could even move things over. I'm just hitting the arrow keys here to adjust shapes and give level one a little bit more preeminence there, a little bit more space. Another thing that's interesting about this is that it uses the theme colors built into Visio. You can see if I go to the fill that we're taking this color and if I pause there it says accent one. The other the other colors are called accent three, accent five, etc. And what's nice about that is if you go to the design tab you can just pick themes from here and get a nice quick change in color and look for your document really quick. So you might want to change the, you know, the, uh, the way these things are colored, but think about the theme colors when you do that. So let's go back to the beginning and say instead of going here and turning this red or blue, go up to the theme colors and say, well, I actually want this to be more of the of the green family. So I'll just move over to here and keep the same level of coloring that, that Chris put in there. I'll change the text color as well. So to the strong green, again in the, that column there. And then we'll do the line coloring. You can see it was this middle orange or whatever. So now we'll go to the middle green. And we've kind of kept the same balance of coloring on the shape and it'll also float with the themes. So now we've got two other boxes in this column we need to, to change. What we can do is select this shape first, then push the shift key, and then draw a net around the other two, then hit the format painter button up here, and they'll take that characteristic along with it. So all, all, the, all the formatting characteristics of the first one that we selected. So back in the design tab, again, we can float the themes around and pick something that looks good to us. So we can get a little bit different color distribution that way. So that's nice. The other th kind of thing you might want to do is, you know, you're filling out the text here. Maybe you want to make the font size a little bit smaller in the at the last level. So I've just knocked it down to nine point. An easy thing to do now is just to select the rest of them and either hit the, the redo button up here or I like to hit F4. It's the same thing and that makes them all smaller. Now, you might not always have the same amount of shapes as, as are built into the template, so what happens if you have uh, a few less? So, let's just delete one of these here, and delete one of these here, and then make this one a child of that. So, 
we've got all this space over here and now things are kind of out of a, a whack alignment wise what we can do is select all of these shapes here just a uh, net select them right click and again these you know hierarchy shapes they have the distribute shapes built in too and we'll just do a vertical distribution on their centers so now the spacing is really nice there now we can just zoom in and select this shape and just use the arrow keys to move it up and down and you can see it I'm having a hard time getting right there so I can either zoom in further or I can hold down the shift key and do a fine up and down with the arrow like that so you can work from right to left kind of doing this and you know the centered stuff doesn't have to do that you could probably try to use Visio's built-in layout stuff too but because I've put some locks in on the horizontal position it might cause some trouble there so that looks pretty good let's move that up a little bit move that up a little bit like that we'll then hold down shift to fine-tune that so the connector straight and there we go like that so diagrams looking pretty good if it turns out you want to add another shape I suggest selecting one and doing a control drag also with the connector doing copy and paste isn't as good because it breaks some of this column alignment stuff that I've got going on so yeah we can do things like that fairly quickly and we've got a nice looking diagram just double click any shape to edit the text uh, delete shapes where you don't need them use the arrow keys to move up and down and uh, use control drag to duplicate shapes one last thing is if you absolutely need to move something out of the column just right click on it and uncheck the align with column header and now it's free to move about the drawing wherever you need it maybe you need to do some emphasis or you just want to offset it just a little bit if you want to put it back so that it's automatically aligned with its header just right click that so it's checked again and you can see now it's locked now incidentally I did a lot of zooming and panning here and I never went down to these controls in the lower right corner and the way I did that is I held down the shift and control keys and if I click the left mouse button it zooms me in if I click the right mouse button it zooms me out if I drag by holding the right mouse button down then I can pan so you can see I can quickly zoom in here that's the left mouse button drag zooms me into an area right mouse button click zooms me out right mouse button drag pans me around really good st really these are the number one Visio tips you need to use that make using Visio much easier so I hope you like this template maybe it's useful for you and thanks for watching